Thank you. And this is my final piece. Um, this is a difficult piece for me. Um, I hope you can understand where it's coming from. <clears throat> a lot of times, as a black woman, you know, I'm speaking for a lot of people who feel that they have no voice. And there have been times in the city, in Toronto, where it was like, does a black life mean as much as a white life? And the media will take one story and make it, you know, it's such a sad thing. And we wonder if, when we die, why is it not a sad thing? <clears throat> Why can't the powers that be understand that if Boxing Day was the day this city lost its innocence, then this city is a whore. Because that means the score of innocent men, women, and children who have died in her embrace were colored playthings, and only this one broke her heart. Four bullets for four-year-old babies. I'm sorry, Shaquan, but maybe a white life means more than a black one. And Tamara, I'm sorry if it sounds like Tara Mc that Sarah McLaughlin doesn't write songs about you, but I do. And Randall Dooley did not die in vain. What did you care about a holiday? Your autopsy showed that you had already seen far too many boxing days. But she was innocent and got straight A's. I will not let your death be in vain. Jane, this is in no way a form of disrespect. I will mourn every innocent victim, every white, black, yellow, human child, every church that is defiled by the violent byproduct of every social program the government denied. But now they've got to get the public on their side, hire a few more cops to keep the masses mollified. Reduce the sounds of high-ranking voices amplified, and maybe then just let it ride until another white girl. <laughs>